Hi everyone. So today we will see how to integrate our HTML report to Jenkins. So whenever we create any project like a testng or Kukumar project, we I mean we should be getting some report, right? So we will be configuring some report to get our test results, right? So when we do locally, uh, all the reports will be uh, getting generated. The same report we should be able to get when we run the uh, test from Jenkins, right? So how do we get a HTML report in the Jenkins, right? So we have some uh, plugin called HTML Publisher plugin that you have to add to our Jenkins Manage plugin section. Okay, so then we have to create one Maven project, then we have to pass our pom.xml root file directory to run your test, right? So these are the steps. First things you have to add HTML plugin. Okay, so simply go to uh, your, your Jenkins and go to the uh, plugin manager. In the plugin manager, you should go to available section. You just simply type HTML publisher. Okay, since I have installed, it's coming under the install section for me. Right, so this is the one HTML publisher. Right, so once once you install this one, what is the next? We have to create one Maven project in Jenkins. Right, so I am going here and I am creating one Maven project. So I simply name as HTML report. Okay. So I am selecting the Maven project option and clicking on OK. And this will create the Maven project. We can use freestyle as well. So since I am using the Maven uh, project, so I am just, I mean uh, Maven uh, project. So once the project is created, you can scroll down and you can see, uh, you, you just leave everything as it is. You, you just scroll down and you can see the root form down, I mean root form option, right? So here is the build option we have. So what we have to do, we have to copy our uh, form.xml, right? So this is my project. I am just copying this form.xml root file. and I am passing it here. I am just replacing with it. And what is the Maven command that we have to pass? Maven clean test, right? So since this is a Maven project, we have to pass only clean test option. So after this, uh, there will be a post build action where you have to select the HTML uh, report, right? So get this option. So once you install that uh, plugin in the manage plugin uh, option in the Jenkins, you, you should be able to get this published reports, okay? So click on this and go for add right so here we have to give the html directory right so where the where the file our html file is getting generated right so by default uh, in testng it will be created in the test output folder right okay these are the folder right so now uh, okay so since we are running from uh, maven we have to get into this and there will be a uh, sure for reports right Sure for reports. Yeah. So this is a report that we will get from default from the uh, test ng. I will open this and I will show you. This is the default report that comes from the test ng guys. Not we are not doing any third party one. So this is a basic one that we get from the test ng, right? So what I have to pass here is I have to copy this report, I mean this folder directory, and I have to pass it in the Jenkins. So this is my uh, HTML directory. Okay, th make sure, I mean, uh, the slash is forward one. Okay, the file name is, so this is the file name, right? So index.html. So by default, it is coming as index.html. So, so just, I mean, you can just leave it at this, as it is. And you can uh, you can give any report title name, like HTML report or any report if you want to, you can, I mean, you can rename it. Or just leave it as it is, okay? I'm just clicking on apply and I'm saving it, okay? So once you save, so once you save, uh, you will be directing, uh, redirecting to the workspace of the project that you created. Okay. So now you can you can see it here. Uh, there are no reports or nothing, right? So what we have to do, we have to just build the project now. So by clicking on this build now, 
you can see the build is started right so we can go to the console to watch out the things so the maven command is passed like a maven clean test is started now so project scanning is started so now it will run the project I mean run the test the chrome driver everything is started Now you can see uh, this test, test is started and you can see like a before class and after class, I mean all the tests are done. Now you can see the build is success, right? And it was trying to uh, generate the report as well. You can see HTML published report, right? So now we'll come back to our project space. I mean back to the project. Now you can see the HTML report option here, right? So you can see it here. So this was generated recently. So when you click on this HTML report, it will take you to the report page. Okay, so this is a report title that we given index, right? So if you if you facing this issue, right? So we have to do one thing. Okay, so go go back to your HTML report, right? So these are the steps that you have to follow because by default Jenkins will not support the any CSS selector or any JavaScript based things, right? So they they have some security policy. So we have to uh, break that security policy by by passing this command, running this command to the Jenkins uh, nodes. Okay, so go to manage Jenkins and go to the uh, manage nodes option. Right, so go to the settings. In the left side, you can see the script console. Right, so in the script console, you just pass this command. Okay, and click on the run. Okay, so once you run this. So once you run this, you could see this result is coming here, right? Which means you are good actually. So now go back to your project. So our project is HTML report. So now go to the HTML report. So still if you are seeing the same result, you have to uh, build one more time to project, your project. So I just clicked on the build now. So one more time my project is started running. Right? So once this is this is uh, I mean our execution is done. Now we'll go to again our uh, the project folder and we'll see how the project results looks. I mean the report looks. So now you can see the test is started and everything is done. The execution is done and our publish uh, report also done, right? So here you can see HTML publisher. Uh, I mean the report is generated, right? So now we'll, I mean, this is the second time that we'll run this build. So we'll come back to the project space and we can see this HTML report is generated now. So click on this report. Now you can see, I mean, go to the index. So this is an index that we given in the uh, title of the report, right? So it is coming as it is, right? 
I mean, whatever the default reports that come from the test ng, we could see now. So if you are facing that, uh, I mean, um, a report issue, right? So you have to follow these comments to get your report uh, format correct on the. So the correct format of the report uh, HTML look in the Jenkins, right? Okay. So this is how we have to generate the report. I mean, publish the HTML report in the Jenkins. So not only with the test ng report you can you can uh, so last video we have seen this the test ng matrix so whatever the report that you have to do i mean you have for the project you can integrate with this to jenkins okay so in, in our next video we'll see how to integrate our test ng results uh, to the jenkins and cucumber and allure as well okay so so that's all about uh, creating a HTML report and integrating with the jenkins Okay, so if you guys have any uh, comments or any doubts in the setting, setting up these uh, steps, please leave it in the comment. Thank you guys.